Good morning YouTube. Today we'll give you a little walk around tour of the sawmill. This is a 1985 Edmonston sawmill that we had hauled 100 miles from here and reassembled it in the past six months. This is the log deck. We got a full deck ready to go for this morning. It's a 16 foot four strand deck manufactured by Edmonston. The carriage, it's a 36 inch Edmonston carriage, four head block. We added an extra set of dogs, which it did not have originally. It was just a dead L. Here's the back side of the carriage with the set works and all the solenoids. Moving on to the saw blade. We're currently running a 52 inch B pattern blade. It came with a 56 inch, but it was a number three, which is kind of obsolete. So we have a 56 inch to put on it. We're just waiting to get the building built. So it's protected. There's the front view of the saw cab. Yeah, the front side of the saw blade, there's a set of guides that keep the saw from walking out of the cut. They don't actually touch the saw, but they're like very, very close to it so it don't walk away. This is our sawdust blower. It takes the sawdust out of the saw pit. And puts it in a big pile which we keep covered. We'll go around to the front side of the off bears table. This is the off bear side of the sawmill. Back side of the saw blade. This is the board splitter which keeps the log cant face and the board from binding. There's a live belt that comes off of the mandrel, which feeds the boards onto the roller table. And then we have a pile right here of slabs, and that's our cutoff saw, which has a 28 inch blade, and that cuts all of our slab wood into pieces so we could sell them for firewood. This is a pile of lumber we just cut. This is all 1 by 12s, 12 foot long. We have our edger sitting right at the end of the mill. And this machine has two saw blades inside, which takes the bark edges off. And one saw is adjustable, and the other saw is stationary. Then this is the back side of the edger, and these are all the pieces that were edged off the lumber. It's the first couple boards that come off have bark on one or two sides, depending on how far down we cut. And this is also firewood pile. A lot of people like this for kindling. This is our 671 Detroit diesel engine. It's the power unit that came with the mill. 238 horsepower out of the factory. There's the clutch that disengages the uh, power takeoff. You can get around the other side you'll see the drive pulley and the belts. We had to replace the radiator on it so we adapted a radiator off of another piece of equipment. There's the back side of the Detroit. That's the 36 inch pulley that drives everything on the mill. Now 
and this mandrel spins everything including the hydraulics and we have a tandem pump set up this is all original from Edmonston sawmills and this runs the everything on this mill that's hydraulic these these two pumps run everything so as that saw blade spins everything else moves this is the actual saw cab with all the controls that operate the whole entire mill it runs off of two joysticks there's three foot pedals on the floor which run the log deck and my right hand would be my dogs up and down in and out and then the stick moves back and forth and it controls the log turner out there the other stick which would be in my left hand will run my set works the bottom five buttons are board thicknesses which are presets and the top two buttons are my forward and reverse on the knees and then pushing the stick forward will back the carriage up and pulling a stick towards you will run the carriage down the track and then these buttons run the tapers on the knees so there's a lot of a lot of controls in here to get used to and the view from inside the cab you can see the log deck and usually it's full of logs when we start to saw and then the chains bring it into the stop and load device they roll onto the carriage they're dogged down and then the carriage travels past the saw blade and you just keep going back and forth, taking board after board until that log is completely sawed up.